to be honest, I think that people underrate the position of safety in the growth of this sport. I mean, horses bring so much to humans, right? I mean, they're used in all sorts of therapeutic programs and things like that. But the problem is, is that we sometimes get a reputation that horses are dangerous. And horses don't have to be dangerous if you have the right training, you have the right horse, and we actually have the right equipment. And that's the thing, helmets are such an easy way to actually reduce uh, a potentially lethal situation into one that people can just get up and walk away from. And also Charles Owen made such beautiful helmets, you've been, um, it's come so far, so fast, they now make such stylish helmets for every single discipline. Well that's right, yes, I mean one of our taglines is trying to make a helmet for every occasion and so therefore we go right from eventing, um, the steeple chasing, um, we do ones for polo helmets and obviously ones to uh, within the suede and the velvet, hunting type ones and things like that because that's the thing is that we can get away from the concept of, of wearing a safety item if we think about fashion. And that's the real key way to get people to do it. I mean, if you look at bicycle helmets, if you look at full-face motorcycle helmets, I mean, my dad produced a, a prototype of a full-face helmet in 1963, and everyone looked at him and said, you're absolutely crazy. Why would anyone want to encase their head in a motorcycle helmet? And yet you look around today, and all the young people wouldn't want to be seen riding a motorbike without a full-face helmet. Is that how you got into it? We actually started making military helmets um, back in 1911, so this is actually our 100th birthday this year. Right. And we started, uh, we made our first motorcycle helmet in 1928, and we had our first horse racing helmet in 1938. Wow. So we've been doing this a long time. Yeah. And, and there's um, all the science, and I mean, it's amazing the technology that backs up these fashionable helmets. Do you know what? The helmet world is really exciting at the moment. There's so much new stuff that's going on, um, and we are seeing that the fact that uh, we've got American football helmets who have huge amounts of money to spend in investigation, um, they are actually uh, have developed new equipment that we can use to try and start to understand the new. Uh, the new focus I see for helmets, which is looking after concussion. Um, in fact, since Christmas, they've actually now been installing computers into military helmets, so they can actually start to uh, study the effects of blasts and concussion on soldiers. And so I think there's something like 200,000 computerized helmets out in the field, which is going to be the start of a, a study. I mean, there is another one we've been involved with, uh, University of Dublin, um, on having steeple chasers, um, but NFL, who started up a little bit earlier, I mean, now they have a mi over a million data set of concussive accidents. Um, I guess the thing is that, of course, impacts to the head happen so much more frequently. I think a quarterback gets, on average, 50 impacts to their head within a game. So there's lots and lots of opportunity for us to study because what we can use is other sports to learn um, to provide better protection for the horse rider. Well, I'm so glad that um, you know it's all coming to the forefront and we have you on our side, as it were, and helping us. And it, I'm glad it, that Lindsay's doing this for us as well with Riders for Helmets. And that we're all to be honest, together. it's it's really great to because at the end of the day, yes, as you started off by saying that we have a commercial interest, but sometimes that actually stops people listening to us. Even though we might be passionate about uh, trying to save lives, making a difference, when you actually have somebody outside who's saying. Come on, guys. Let's let's think about making doing the, the right thing and the common sense thing. Then it's so much easier for us to participate in the benefit and act as a technical resource and say, what does the customer want, and we should be there to provide it. Thank you very much.